with the uh, arenas being shut down everywhere, can you tell me a little about, is it, a, is it a concern for you and is it happening that more people are heading out onto the lake? It appears that we do and, and are getting more people, uh, you know, doing their recreation on our, our uh, lake fronts. Um, we were out the other day, we witnessed at least four uh, makeshift ice rinks on Rice Lake between uh, Beaudley and Harwood. And um, we, did, we did witness some people that were out there skating and, uh, and uh, doing some recreational activities. People should, I guess, bottom line, people should be very careful when they go out on the ice, when they're going at night, things like that, if you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, Rice Lake is a dangerous, dangerous lake at any time um, in the winter because of the currents and the flow paths that, uh, that it has. Uh, right now, with the weather that we've been having this winter, there, there are a, a bunch of open water areas and the, then the ice is really unsafe. Um, we, uh, we witnessed uh, a number of channels that are open water uh, on Rice Lake. So if you're out there, uh, be incredibly cautious. You know, stay, stay uh, near the shore. Uh, I personally don't think that it's safe at this point to have vehicles out on the ice. I think um, what we're recommending, you know, if you want to park on the shore in some of your parking areas, I think that's fine. And, um, you know, that's my, our, our, my biggest concern that people go onto the ice, venture too far out or don't know the lake and, and fall through. Secondly, uh, what we have witnessed and how we realize that there's more people attending uh, our area, we are starting to get complaints with people parking in fire routes and where they shouldn't park in the north. So if you are going to come, uh, we welcome you. Come, come and do your thing. Exercise uh, the, the regulations that, that we're under with the restricted um, access to our number of people and the physical distancing and please park in, in the areas that we have designated for parking and not in fire roads. We have no choice but to be out there and finding the people that park in the fire roads. We need those, those access points clean and it's a $175 fine if you do park in a, in a restricted or a fire route area in, in the north or where there's a hydrant located. Not that I'm uh, gifted in the sense of ice, but I would also think um, use caution at night, more caution, because if there's snowmobiles on the ice, they will not be able to see you when you're going there and things like that. So it's one of these things. Ice is very dangerous. I guess the best way to put it, ice is very dangerous at the best of times. Here we are in COVID times, and I've seen people coming from outside the area here to, to fish or to skate, like you say about the, the handmade or the homemade rinks. So it's one of these things, just be extremely careful, especially people that aren't from this area, if they come. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, particularly, I think night, nighttime adds a different element to being out there on the ice. And with the way that the snow machines are operating this uh, in these days, they, they easily outdrive their headlights. And uh, you can find yourself in a situation that you can't get out of. And, and we've seen this happen before where even if you're not alone, um, everybody ends up in the water and, and then you know, you're in trouble and having a tough time to get out. And if, if you don't uh, have access to get someone to come and help, it, it could mean disaster for anybody that's out there. So uh, extra cautious, uh, be extra cautious on the ice. Um, the, uh, the ice is just not safe right now, uh, anywhere off the shorelines. Last question, and again, it, uh, if you can answer this, and if you can't, that's fine, but it's one of these things where I found if, if people, uh, when I uh, went to the Rideau Canal, I talked to a couple of paramedics there, and they said it was unbelievable the amount of people that break uh, their ankles and all that stuff because they come from across the world to skate there, and they don't know how to skate, so they just snap an ankle. With Rice Lake, obviously not in terms of numbers, but something that people might not be aware of in the past, and I take it and I'll check with this, I don't think it's changed, but the paramedics do not go on the ice, so it'll be the fire department going on the ice to rescue these people if they are hurt or injured, therefore tying up resources that you may need somewhere else if there is a fire. Right, and I don't, I don't exactly know, we haven't been out this year, I don't know the, the, the regulations at the stands in 2021, but in the past, we have, you know, we have worked with the uh, 
Northumberland paramedics, and uh, we do predominantly do rescue. That that's our our uh, mandate and core service. And the paramedics provide the medical service, um, but we do work in tandem. But it, what you've said is really true. Uh, when we have to respond and, and use resources to go out to do jobs like that, it puts everybody in jeopardy, particularly when, when we're sending a number of um, emergency responders together out. Uh, it puts us uh, in jeopardy in terms of the physical distancing with respect to getting COVID. And we don't know the people that we're meeting, particularly when they're not from our local area. And, I, and I'm not advocating don't come. I'm just advocating uh, use extreme caution and please be careful when you're out there so that you do not activate or have to activate an emergency services to, service to come and get you.